Hello, this is a tutorial for the scoreboard. This is tutorial number eight for the end scoreboards, which is you see one on section nine and one on section 20. So how to turn it on is we're gonna go over to the light switch that has a red cover, click it on. You'll see the board start doing this uh, boot up. You go over to its controller, which is this one. You press the on, and you'll see the display lighting up. You gotta put a code in for this, which is, the code is right there. So we're gonna go down to hit code. It's going to ask you to enter the code, which is 46. So we're gonna use the keypad to enter 46, then select enter and then you have all your stuff shown up on the screen. So we're gonna set a timer. So we're gonna hit set and it'll ask for the time. After you put in 20 minutes, put two zero zero zero, select enter. And then there's 20 minutes on the screen there. And then 20 minutes on that board. So to do the countdown timer, you got time in and time out switch. So toggle it to the in, and you'll start seeing the timer counting down. You can also edit the timer. You can set 10 double zero enter, and it will put 10 up. Um, if you need to reset the timer, just start or stop it and then hit the reset and it'll reset it back to 10. You can keep score and track periods. So for the score, you can just hit plus one and then the home went up one goal. Um, to to, to change it back to zero, just hit the score button, hit zero, enter, and it changes it back to zero. The one other thing is here, we got period. You just click on that, and it will change the period to one. If we need to hit the buzzer, there's a button there for the horn. It'll go off. And then it has an automatic once you let the timer expire. And to just shut it off, all you have to do is just turn off the light switch. And the console and the scoreboard shut down. I hope this video helps you with using the end clocks or end scoreboards if needed. They're mostly used for curfew but there is times where the main scoreboard can go down due to computer technical issues but if that is what you need to resort to this video will help you use it.